right, so we're into this season 12 here, and uh, I've saved up somehow another 2,100 souls, and we're hopefully I won't need too many of them to get through these last two tiers. I haven't used any skips yet. All battles have been manually completed. Uh, some of them I've had to actually do without auto on, but especially this one. Um, don't have any super OP uh, cards to play on though. But anyway, hopefully I'll have enough soul stored up to get through the... I typically only skip between one and three rounds on the Elder Tower at the very end. Um, you can get through the rest manually. So, before these card packs are expired in nine hours, I'm going to go ahead and be crazy and open the remaining 10 I'm allowed to get, 10 out of 20 left, and see what happens. Um, definitely a few more of these characters I can max out on. Would really like to stay away from um, Kung Jin. I've gotten way too many of them and uh, pretty tired of it. Don't mind having a, a 10 in there, but definitely don't need them both to be 10s and don't need duplicate cards of character I've already maxed on. Crazy how slow this is. Here we go. Hey, that's great. Maxing out on Scorpion's health is awesome. Same with Kung Lao. Yeah, that's a huge one. Hey, I'll take that. Definitely could use uh, five more of those for all I care. Sweet. Yeah, these, I mean, those cards and coins are worth so much that it's kind of worth it just for these to me. Can't cheese on nine now. Love it. Definitely like getting back to back subbies here. Could use a few more of those. Really need an Inferno Scorpion to max him at 10. Mine's at 9. Sub Zero maxed out now for attack. That's awesome. Don't need him. Got three. Dragon Crystal's out of it, so that's kind of cool. I actually spent 250 souls in the middle of collecting to get his 10th card uh, yesterday, I believe. It was in the store. Next time is hell. That's rad. Oh, a duplicate. I was wondering if that was going to lead to a sub zero just because of those cards. Man, I could have used that in the last challenge tower. Wow, I'm getting devils of these. That's crazy. Possessed Kenji. He's kind of a cool character. I like using him. The passive with fire on the tag in is pretty sick. Plus he just looks a little cooler with his sword than the balanced one. Useless, unfortunately. Useless again. I'll take it. Up to a nine. Be cool to max him out and, and um, Grandmaster Subby. to have his recovery with Max or Kim Jin. There it is. That's the card I was really after. That's 
so far no busts that's an awesome one to finally get a 10 out of I gotta get him up to level 60 now such a useful tag and team card passive is very destructive on bosses now it's now max for health is rad can't choose max for health man this is great has been much more eventful than almost well, like I am up to a nine than the last set of packs. Two to go, right? Finally not getting a single clone gen. I should probably not be talking about it. Afraid of jinxing myself, right? But and two busts there, of course. At least it's one I didn't have maxed already. Come on, give me a sub zero. Give me a grandmaster sub zero, you know you want to. Anomaly pack you. Yeah, uh, that's not bad, at least it tends him out. His health is so much lower than the other one. Though. In the uh, hat trick version but yeah not a bad turnout overall get three dragon crystals out of it 115,000 coins sold back I'll take it and, uh, real check quick check on the collection here this gold is now higher than my Aza Sashi at 8. Wow. Didn't know he'd get that destructive. He'll pass him up when he gets to 10. And yeah. Grandmasters. That's a nice change there. He's 10. He's a 9. That's great. Got more reason to want to use him. Get his levels up. He's pretty low. But yeah, not a bad turnout overall. Now we're getting some maxed out golds. I think for me it was worth it. Can't speak for anybody else, but um, you know, then took advantage of a good sale and uh, a lot of great support and made characters in there and wait for the next pack deal to come along. That's it.